Good morning, my name is Dr Jeremy McAnulty from New South Wales Health and I'm here with a COVID update for Wednesday the 2nd of February 2022. Today, uh, New South Wales Health is reporting COVID-19 information for her 20-hour period from 8pm the 31st of January to 4pm the 1st of February, instead of the usual 24-hour cycle. This is due to a change in our daily reporting cutoff uh, from 8pm to 4pm, which was implemented yesterday. Uh, from tomorrow, Thursday, the 3rd of February, we will once again reporting the full 24-hour uh, cycle from 4pm to 4pm. In terms of vaccination, across New South Wales, more than 95% of people aged 16 years and over have received a first dose of COVID vaccine, and 94% have received two doses. Uh, of people aged 12 to 15, 83.3% have received a first dose of COVID vaccine, and 78.5% have received two doses. Of children aged 5 to 11 years, 40.3% have received a first dose of vaccine. As families across the state to start uh, the 2020 school year, we're urging parents who haven't yet had their school-aged child vaccinated against COVID-19 to do so without delay. Vaccinations are available through New South Wales health hubs, GPs and pharmacies for children aged 5 to 11 years of age. Of people aged 18 years and over, 40.6% have received a booster dose. Booster doses of the COVID-19 vaccine are available for people aged 18 years and over three months after their second dose. And we urge people to get their booster dose as soon as they're eligible to protect themselves and their family and friends from COVID. Um, in terms of hospitalisation, there are currently 2,622 uh, people with COVID admitted to hospital, including 170 people in intensive care, 72 of whom require ventilation. There were 11,807 positive tests notified to, to uh, 4 p.m. yesterday. This includes 5,493 PCR tests and 6,314 rapid antigen tests. In terms of deaths, sadly, New South Wales Health is reporting the deaths of 27 people with COVID, uh, 12 women and 15 men. And we'd like to express our sincere condolences to the families and loved ones of the people who've died. So remember, if you're unwell with any symptoms at all, please protect others by not going out uh, to work or shop or socialising. And remember to have a COVID test. You can get a rat test. Uh, or if you can't get a rat test, get a PCR test at one of the clinics. And thanks everyone for coming forward to getting vaccinated, particularly those booster shots, uh, which is so important for protecting us all and for arranging for your children to get vaccinated. Thanks very much, everyone.